November the 16th, 2019. As you're looking at a piece of software from meteorshowers.org, and uh, it's usually linked on Space Weather and on our website also. But as we pull into the inner solar system on this model, the three inner rings, of course, are Venus, Mercury, and the Earth. The red line or the red orbital path is Mars. We are entering the debris trail of Comet Temple Tuttle, and it's called the Leonid Meteor Showers. These are amazing when you have the years when they're very thick, like, for instance, in 1999, it was the most spectacular thing I've ever seen, ever. And these things are coming down out of Leo constellation. And we'll look at that sky chart. But guys, they appear to be coming straight down. They were huge green fireballs. It looked like a movie. It wasn't streaking. They weren't streaking across the sky. And if you look at this, how they're diving down, that's how they appeared that night. Now, they're, going, they're already starting to appear, but they're going to peak Monday into Tuesday nights. So you want to look east as we look at this. And it's amazing to think about how these comets do this. As they approach our sun and they're uh, slingshotted back out into space, I watched them come in at a million miles per day. And as they got closer to the sun, right into that hard curve with all the G-force, be it 11 million miles per day. So that just tears them apart. Now, here's the radiant looking east. Notice the bottom. You've got Leo, the constellation, and right in the top, the Leonids will appear to be coming from there, and they will spread out just like those arrows in all directions. It's not just a long streak, guys, but if we go, it depends on how thick it is, but uh, they are amazing. Also, that's just in the next two days, but starting on November 21st through the 27th, there's going to be a... A real neat alignment. They said the planets are getting in the sunset sky during the third week of November. Venus and Jupiter will converge for a beautiful conjunction, only 1.4 degrees apart on November the 24th. Then a whisper thin crescent moon will join them, forming a celestial triangle on November 27th and 28th. November 28th, a great day in celestial events. We watched on that date coming up. Uh, Comet I sun disintegrate just like we're talking about around the sun. But here, looking south, southwest after sunset into the sunset, just a little further south, you're going to see the moon, Pluto, Saturn, Venus, and Jupiter. Guys, it should be a, uh, if the skies are clear, it should be a very good next few weeks uh, for watching these events. Again, just wanted to mention it. Uh, very neat. Check it out if you get a chance. Also, the Earth is entering a solar wind stream that's going to be elevated for the next few days from some coronal openings on the surface of the sun. So watch. Uh, I'll do an update on that this evening. The Discover satellite's already picking up some of that solar wind pressure, guys. So just a heads up on that. I'll Again, I'll update it. I'm not sure how strong the solar winds will become, but we do have weak shields. It's a heads up. Be safe.